Scalar C602 machine isn't just making ice cream, it's running constant diagnostics. Every sensor monitors temperature and pressure, every motor reports its operational status, all communicating through internal data channels that franchisees can't access. Kitsch didn't just guess what was wrong, they found a way to read these internal communications. They connected a small computer directly to the same data channels the machine's components use to talk to each other. They then employed a technique known as hardware-level network sniffing. They connected to the GPIO pins, which are essentially the machine's exposed electrical arteries. This effectively allowed root access to the operating system, direct, unrestricted control over everything. They plugged into protocols like SMBus, the system management bus, which is a constant stream of status updates, alerts, and coordination messages flowing between all of the parts. It's a low speed, two-wire highway that lets components like temperature sensors and motor controllers communicate data. By connecting to the GPIO pins, the Raspberry Pi, which is a credit card sized computer costing less than $50, used by Kitsch, effectively joined the machine's inner circle, gaining direct, unfiltered access to every operational parameter and error state. But here's where it gets interesting. They weren't just reading the data, they were translating it. These internal conversations aren't spoken in plain English. Machines use specialized languages, or protocols to be precise, to communicate. O'Sullivan and Nelson were performing protocol analysis, essentially reverse engineering the machine's secret language. Just like a cybersecurity expert dissecting malware traffic to understand its hidden commands, turning opaque error codes into step-by-step -step repair instructions, instead of error XS NDH UIF, their device, called Kitsch, would tell you hopper overfilled, reduce product level, and restart cycle. Simple, clear, actionable. Kitsch translated the machine's data into something useful. Their device acted as a mini web server, exporting the critical machine data via HTTP, even allowing real-time WebSocket updates to your phone. The results were immediate.